When working with big ints in JavaScript, the big int literal syntax makes it easy to create big integers with given values. Let's take a look at this in action. Now, just as a reminder, big ints are useful because they let you store arbitrarily large numbers accurately. They don't run into the same precision problems that normal JavaScript numbers do. And if we want to create a new big int with a given value, all we have to do is start by typing out the number value that we want to create. So in this case, we'll say 100. And then at the end of this, we're going to add a n. This tells JavaScript that instead of creating a normal number, we're going to create a big integer. When we run this, you can see that we get a big integer value back. We can confirm this by trying to add a normal value, so our normal number value to our big integer. So here we're adding a value of 10, which is a normal number, to the big integer literal. And the runtime is going to complain that we cannot go and do this automatically. So you need to go and explicitly convert the value over here to a big integer as well. Um, and it's actually telling us that yes, this value on the left is a big integer. If we want to add these values together successfully, we can just go and make both of these values big integers. So I'll add an n suffix to the end of this number as well. And now we've taken two big integer literals here and added them to create a third big, in big integer value. Big int literals support any number of digits, and we can see how they're useful when we're dealing with a number that has quite a few digits. So I'll start typing out a number here. And as we get further in the number, notice how the value of this number is starting to be rounded here. So JavaScript's normal number system is not able to represent the number that we've typed in here accurately. If we make this a big integer though, by adding an n at the end there, now we're going to create a big int value that accurately stores the exact number that we typed in. The big int literal syntax also works with hex literals and binary literals. So if we add a hex value like 0xff, which has a value of 255, we can just go and add an n to the end of that. And that is going to turn the value into a big integer value. So now we've created a big integer from a hex value here. And the same with binary values. So we could say 0b101. Now we have a value of 5. To go and convert this into a big integer, we just add an n to the end of the literal here, and that's going to create a big int with a value of 5. If you use big ints extensively in your code, big int literals can be a whole lot easier to work with than using the big int constructor everywhere. So that's a quick introduction to the big int literal syntax in JavaScript.